What's up guys, that really gross guy here. We're back and we're playing Moonlighter today. This is a game that I'm pretty excited to be playing, but at the same time a little bit nervous. And the reason is because this game is a very cool like RPG dungeon uh, exploring type game. However, it has a type of bullet style gameplay in it that I'm bad at. So I'm nervous about that, but it looks like so much fun, so I want to get into it. Jumping in, brand new game, uh, new normal game, don't have a new game plus, none of that stuff. Um, hard recommended, original difficulty level, created by the developers, recommended for most players. Boy, I just mentioned how bad I am at bullet hell type games, but I mean, that's what they want it, it's intended to be on hard, so gotta experience it you know without well, I don't want my hand held through the whole game I want a challenge but I also don't want to be like walk into a dungeon and totally get wiped so among the stars of the night there is land and old as old as imagination one night mazes full of extraordinary treasures and deadly creatures appeared in this land they called them dungeons strange ever-changing ruins of unknown lands Soon, a village of slightly curious took er, of the slightly curious took root near the dungeon, and the village was named like Renoka. Uh, among the settlers, two groups shine brightest: heroes and merchants, glory and riches. So, but the d dungeons proved too dangerous, as they were soon closed. Many lives were lost in their depths. Life became hard for this town, especially for the young owner of the eldest shop, Will of Moon. Long dreaming of this opening the fifth door of the dungeon. I can't read. I can't read. I'm sick too, guys. So if my voice is all, you know, I'm sorry. But <coughs> there I am, coughing right, right on cue. Great. So we're gonna continue up. So the idea behind this game is you are a merchant, a shop merchant person, and you go into this dungeon to acquire resources and rewards and all that stuff in order to build material build whatever you need or whatever to craft to, to craft items and sell them in your shop which is going to eventually bring in more you know people that want to acquire or you know to become heroes and travel to dungeons and all that stuff more adventurers and stuff. so right now i'm just walking around doing my thing um looks like i've, I've hit a few buttons but i can't do anything yet Wants me to head through this dungeon. Very old school Zelda. Um, I'm I'm old. I'm an old man at this point. <laughs> For some of you, um, this is old school like regular Nintendo. Look down on the level kind of dungeon, uh, you know, type stuff. So left trigger. Okay. So there's my left trigger button. I am running doing this on the on the controller because it said it is highly recommended to do it on the controller. So I am doing that. Uh, so we're gonna do that. All right. So. It wants me to jump this gap, so jump this gap. Okay, cool. Ooh, that was a little, a little close on that second one. Um, but you can jump these gaps. Pretty neat. Oh, okay, so we have a warrior of some kind. I guess it says we can dodge. Okay, we can dodge through. I died in the tutorial because I bumped into a bad guy. Okay. Wow. So we can dodge through him. I didn't know that. There we go. Alright. So now, we need to obviously dodge through projectiles. Which is good. We can dodge through projectiles. That is very, very good. So, if we use the A button, we can use our weapon. Right now, I believe our weapon is just a broom, it looks like. But, you know, poor shopkeep. We got, we got, we got a broom. That's, all, that's, that's how we... You know, do our things in our in our shop, keep things clean, and we have to go out on adventures. And I guess utilize uh, the broom. I'm destroying these because I don't know if those little vials are. I'm pretty sure they're health, but I don't know if they're potions that I need to use, whatever, or if those automatically restore my health without me actually doing anything. Um, I'm assuming they just restore my health without me doing anything, but I haven't taken any damage, so I haven't been able to actually see. Um, 
the stick and the other little red resources that dropped, I believe are going in my inventory. Let's pop this open. Yeah, so I think these are in my inventory. Root and rich jelly. I'd rather have these... Oh, how does this work? Okay. Looks like I can stack these up to transport them and put them in my backpack. This is the treasure chest, so I want to take all the fabric. How do I quick move? Oh, LB to quick move all. Oh, left bumper. Oh, quick, yeah, everything in the chest, which gave me ancient pots. I don't really want those in my... What I seem, I think that's a hot bar of some kind and gold ruins. Oh, okay. Gold ruins could be potentially useful. I don't know. But, uh, yeah, there we go. Oh, we hold the A button and we'll grab the whole stack. So let's open this one and try that out. So, fabric we grab. And then over here we have foundry rests. Not sure what that is, but if I hold it, yeah, it picks up everything. Okay. And water lamp. Once I start getting familiar with what the actual items are, I'll just be, like, grabbing stuff out of chests left and right. Um, okay, and up here it says something. Lock chests. Look, square. I don't, I'm not too sure. Okay. This, oh, this is bad. So I already took a little bit of damage. Oh, took more damage. Okay. So this is where the dungeon, oh yeah, this is where the bullet hell kind of stuff comes into play. And I'm getting beat up. Uh, I'm definitely getting beat up. Oh, I just got hit by a big rock boulder. Okay. I don't think I'm supposed to survive this, right? That's a crazy onslaught of enemies. Oh, there goes all my stuff. Well, darn. Uh, is that my, oh, okay. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if I was supposed to survive that. Doesn't look like it. It's pretty intense. I mean, I don't know if there was like a door that I didn't see that I could have like ran through and escaped or something, but I lost all my stuff, it looks like. Um, but I don't know if I was supposed to survive that. What a sorry looking kid. All alone now. Rest for a bit, Will. Uh, wait. Rest for a bit, Will. I have you now. Is my name Will? My name Will. Okay. Alright. Interesting. Cute little game so far. I like it. Oh, here we go. Okay, this is the store. Okay. Even a mere child, barely able to walk, you are curious of the dungeons. Okay. There is no doubt you carry the same obsession as old Pete. Morning, boy. Did our little merchant bite off more than he could manage? Okay, so we're a merchant. I think he might be the shop owner. Will, listen to me. The hard truth is... You're the last of your family. The only one left to run Moonlighter. You can't keep pushing yourself like this. Risking your life on the fifth door nonsense is foolish. Just leave it. Find some artifacts and use your pendant to get out of the dungeon. And for crater's sake, stop using your broom of yours, you daft boy. It's dangerous to go alone. Take this. It's mine from back in the day. Use it. We have little need for it now. Oh, sword and shield. Alright, so I'm assuming we were kind of supposed to get beat up. Now then, get up. You're wasting light. Can't have you neglect the shop all day. Let's see if I can get through your hard head of some tricks blah blah blah. Uh, I picked it up from your grandfather so many, many years ago. Oh. Alright. So we're the last. So we, this is our shop. We're the last of our, of our family. So up here we have a chest of some kind, right? I don't think we can access it in any way. Doesn't look like. This looks like another chest, like a foot, you know, like a foot chest, you know what I mean, by the end of our bed. Doesn't look like we can access it either. Successfully selling your merchandise takes knowledge of two things. You must know the item's value as well as its demand. Come now, open the shop and let the customers in. Alright, so I guess we go down to the door and open up, open shop, hold to open shop. Alright. So then we would have potential customers come in and, oh, okay, 
him up. We can sell this item. Did you see that? Best expression? Uh, you can hope for it. The item wasn't too expensive for them and not so cheap that you lose profit. Be sure to pay attention to your customer's expressions. That's how Grandfather always knew his prices were fair. I'm assuming this guy's gonna come in and see that this is too high because it's the same item but priced much more. <coughs> yeah, I don't think I need to tell you how that item was obviously overpriced. Lesson learned? All right, finally, be careful of selling a popular item too much. If you flood the market, you will have to offer cheaper prices on your wares, so supply and demand. Okay. Point is, charge higher when something is high in demand and low in supply. Take out your merchant notebook and hold all that information. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay, so in our notebook, it looks like we can actually keep track of... Yeah, look at that. Crystallized energy. We got a happy expression at 100 coins. And we got a really frustrated expression at 170 coins. Okay. Interesting. And it tells us how it looks like... Or it seems to tell us how we can get that item. Um, I think if we, uh, oh, it's going us through a tutorial, but it says something about a golem crystallizes on its destruction, or when it's destroyed, so maybe we get these from golems, but anyways, so we'll leave through the tutorial that way. Would seem the sun has fallen for the day. I best head off. You will pick up more on your own, restoring the shop to its former glory, or full glory. That responsibility falls on you, not I. It is in your blood, Will. Make us proud. In the meantime, why don't you try out that new sword of yours? Dungeons are perilous at night, but one can always find better artifacts. Just don't dive in too far and use that pendant boy. Okay. Cool. So it's now turned over to nighttime, and we can go out and... Alright. Go into the, into the depths of the dungeons. Go on now. These weary bones of mine must rest. Alright. So, I guess we're out here in the world. From what I've heard, this world... Or this area becomes... Oh, someone's... Yeah, okay. Okay, Masa. But apparently this area will become more populated as I become a more successful character. Or like an adventurer. So, that's interesting. Um, looks like we do have some stuff in here. We got roots, teeth stone, roots, iron bar, iron... Okay. So... Should I leave that stuff behind? How does that work? It doesn't look like I can go back in the shop. Yeah. Okay, you got a new sword? Head off to the dungeon, will ya? Okay. Yeah. People of Renoka are uh, accustomed to the culture artifacts from the dungeons. They have part of a daily lives, so even a good part of our food. Alright. So I guess we'll head off to the dungeons. I'm a little worried about losing what we have in our inventory, unfortunately, but I don't know. <coughs> oh, man. I really, I really wish I wasn't sick. It's been so hard to produce content and go to work every day and f feel like this. Alright. Forest Dungeon. Dungeon on a, or dungeon available to heroes. Not recommended for merchants. Okay, so we need to do some ranking up of some kind. Um, okay, Golem Dungeon. Dungeon available to merchants and heroes. Desert Dungeon, only for heroes. And Tech Dungeon, no entry. And then this... I don't know, that looks like a looks like a special dungeon. you know. So these dungeons, I believe, are randomized every time we walk into them. So uh, we will 100% enter one of these things and have to figure out how to traverse it. So that's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Okay. Um... I guess the other game you could compare this to, which I know very, very little about, is... Um, is it called The Binding of Isaac? Uh, so very similar in terms of the type of combat, uh, where you, like, fight and attack from, you know, like straight top-down in, in, a, in a dungeon space, with doors on certain corners of the map and, you know, randomized stuff. Um, however, I'm sure it's very different in terms of you know, story, loot, and all that other stuff. But you can definitely see a comparison in terms of, you know, the game itself. Okay, he seems to be able to attack fairly quickly after I do. So he might be a good guy to, like, dodge. Oh, no. 
I was gonna say dodge and then strike, but he did manage to get me right after my my dodge, so be careful about that. Wonder if this on the wall is no. It just looks like decorations on the wall. Okay, Ooh, we've got a couple guys in here. Oop. Okay, got hit again. Okay, definitely getting I see the right trigger up in the top right hand corner, which I, I guess these are potions. And I can actually utilize those to restore my health. Um, it's not something that happens automatically. It's something that I actually have to press and utilize myself. Okay, okay so there's some more... Uh, what are those steel rods, I think, that I picked up earlier? Oh, and you can see a, a map on the bottom left hand part of the map. The bottom left hand part of the screen is a bit of a map. This does look like a dead end, so we'll go back be able to continue to tra traverse and I think in each one of those sections you'll see a little opening on one side which shows me where the doors are oh okay I can jump over that gap and grab what was in here this looks like a tent that maybe like an adventurer had left behind at some point oh like a like a dead body oh yeah a dead body of some kind maybe a monster body I don't know but it's holding a satchel and to a person of hopefully far better luck than I, my time is short. I took injury from a strange creature across the room. My pendant all but shattered from the scuffle. Check him out, though. I'd say he's fared better than he. He caught my spying on him near the Guardian's room. He dropped a couple items when he fled. One of which is this map diagram. Whatever it is, I was right. He called me crazy, said old Pete, gone, done, lost his marbles. But I was right. Each Guardian of the dungeon possess a key of sorts, all of them linked to that giant lock door outside of the dungeons, the fifth door of Renoka. Sadly, I won't be around to see that door open. To whoever found me, I apologize for the smell, but the diagram should be around here somewhere. Please open the fifth door of Renoka. These dungeons are not what they seem. Interesting. Okay. Well, um, not too sure where this key is. I think he's talking about this. Yeah. Big boss gonna kill me. I suppose, or I supposed to let them all out. Now have to chase with this weird creature that stole my stuffs. Ah, big boss gonna be up so, gonna be so upset with little me. Okay. So, bosses lead to final dungeon. Okay. Um. Not too sure exactly what this means. It looks like satchel or necklace pendant potion thingy with gold coins. It has a rarity, can have a rarity of some kind. Five coins is better than two coins. Press the B button and go to shop. Oh, is this your teleportation deal? So if I hold it. Is that my... Okay, that's my teleport button to go home. Oh, and it even shows a summary of the dungeon. I kill. Those are all the monsters I killed. Uh, certain chests that I've opened, I'm assuming, is that one. All my items and inventory. Um, cool. Interesting. I like, that's kind of neat. That's kind of neat. A little tutorial entry level dungeon. Poops me back out right over at home. And we've collected loot. Pretty neat. Ah, uh, the young proprietor of the Moonlighter has returned. You look intact. Finally returned, or finally learned to use that pendant properly. It's about time, boy. What are you holding? Oh, what are you holding? Is that the chart of the dungeons? Where did you get this? Ah, uh, you found old Pete. Dead. See, this is what happens when you chase what's behind that door. Leave it, Will. Just get the artifacts you need from the Golem Dungeon and look after the Moonlighter. Now, I noticed the post on the town board that may be in interest of you. Some shops want to move in. Attempt to revitalize this town. Okay. Apparently, they need a startup uh, capital. Blah, blah, blah. Will it be nice to see a new life in Monoka? Nice indeed. Interesting. Cool. So we go in and start dealing with the shop. This job board, I'm assuming, is going to be like little quests and whatnot. Investments. Oh. Oh, so we can use our money to invest in the town. 
Here's a Vulcan's Forge for 500. Uh, so do you feel that the dungeons are too hard, tired of your old weapon? You can solve that and bring uh, me money for materials. Cool. Now we can forge uh, a better weapon. Wooden hat. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Potions and enchantments. Okay. Tell you they're looking for items in dungeons. Um, so we'll find some... This is an item retailer that we can maybe purchase some things that we don't want to go jumping in the dungeon time after time after time to get. Interesting. This is very expensive, but it's a banker. Uh, trust your money. Maybe the reason why I would do this is so that I don't lose money if I die in the dungeon? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Or maybe I can invest my money so that... I don't know. I'm not sure. Uh, as a hawker, I've been traveling around the world for techniques to create objects that can inspire people. Visit my cart and objects by a shop. Okay. Hawker for 20000 Not too sure what that's about either, but... Anyway, there's a right section, so you can increase your shop level. Oh, that's cool. So you can have like a couple tables and, you know, a couple treasure or a couple chests to store your stuff in, I think. And then there's more tables and more chests, and more tables and more chests and more and more and more tables and chests. That's kind of neat. Um, down here, cheap sale box. Items sold in this sale box will have a 75% discount. Interesting. We'll have a 60% discount, we'll have a 50% discount. So I guess we can set these up so that we can fairly cheat. Oh no! I think this is something that will randomly every day have an item in it. And, and we can buy it at a discount? I don't know. I'm not sure. I'm not really sure. Iron cash register. This sounds like something that I would be using because I'm a, I'm a merchant. I'd be selling this stuff. Oh. Iron cash register. Uh, useful cash register entice customers to add an extra 10% tip when paying. Oh, and then 20% tip, 40% tip. Interesting. Come to bed. Uh, grant extra, extra health in the morning. Protected uh, after sleeping in it. Um, sweet dreams made of gold or the comfort of the day. Uh, extra space for your items. Extra, 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 extra space. Okay. <coughs> so I think that's it for the upgrades. Um, shop. Okay, yeah, yeah. So we, that's, that's, that's pretty much it. So We do have some people in here. Um, never find a pendant. Most pendants today were used in the dungeons first discovered. Since then, finding one has become nearly impossible. Ooh. Oh, so we could probably talk to the individuals in town and discover what they're seeking. So then if I find a pendant, I could go to my shop and place it in there and know she's more likely to come and buy it. Maybe even at a good price. Okay. If I see Masa around, I also have to, you know, look out for them. I keep hearing an old rumor about the town, or around town about the dungeons. Um, particular artifacts that might be easier to find at night. Okay. And then here's old Xenon. Uh, yeah. Okay. Okay. It's definitely it's town to seen better days. Uh, Renoka may not be as prosperous as it used to be, but many still visit this pick up a souvenir from the Golem Dungeon. Possibly even one from the closed dungeons, if we are lucky. Uh, okay. Um, dungeons up that way. Are these the same dungeons, or are these different dungeons? I think it's sending us it's sending us to the same dungeons. But, anyways, let's go back to the shop. Maybe get some items up for sale. And... Yeah. Yeah, maybe that was a different... I don't think that's a different area. I think both ways, no matter what, we would be heading to those dungeons. Anyways, I'm just curious if I can go in there. Alright, so, let's go inside. Alright, so this item, pretty sure... Uh, how do we, how do we go about changing this stuff? Oh, you, if I go all the way to the left, you can see the items here. So this item, we'll place in this slot. I sold it for a hundred. I could maybe up the price. Let me, yeah, I can move over. Move up to like 120. Maybe that'll work out. I don't know. Um, so then, let's see. So there's roots, teeth stone, roots, iron bars. Iron bars, I'm assuming, could potentially sell decently. Hardened steel probably sell even better. Golem core probably would sell. Uh, water spheres. I'm not too sure. Uh, what I'm going to try is 
I'm gonna sell one iron bar in here for say 10 just one I'm gonna come in and maybe I put another one in here for say 20 see what happens and I almost want to put another one in here and just say like 50 a little bit probably too absurd but I definitely want to get in my notebook in my journal someone you know that says 10 that awesome price 20 nah, it wasn't too crazy about it and then 50 be like no I will not buy it for 50 and then I have a good judgment of what these might be worth um, I don't, know, I don't know, I just just trying a few things out in terms of being able to sell some stuff. But anyways, um, there's a the little sell deal. So then over here, okay. So now, now we can store stuff. Um, okay, so if I, a lot of this stuff is probably just mostly junk, but at some point we're gonna get into crafting, I believe. So I'm gonna start storing some of this stuff. Um, I'm definitely going to try and start figuring out what things sell for and selling probably as, as much of this as I think I possibly can. But for now, what I'm going to do is store kind of some of this in a fairly orderly fashion. Um, I'm going to put some of the, excuse me, uh, like the metals I'm putting over here on the right hand side. I'm going to put just a bunch of random kind of loot dungeon loot kind of in here. I don't think these are really valuable. So I'm gonna place these over here next to the roots. Um, the vines, I think, are probably not valuable. I'm gonna stack those with those. The jelly, I don't think is really valuable. So this kind of section is all, you know, kind of whatever. And then this water sphere might have some value. So I'll kind of put it here. I think the golem cores are gonna have some value. I definitely think this these metals are gonna have some value as well but anyways uh, just so I can stay organized and kind of keep it like that um, let me just make sure it did stay in that yeah it does stay in that okay and I have another chest it does stay properly set up um, here we are we're gonna find out about the iron bar whetstones roots teeth stones all that stuff so this is all stuff I've discovered I'm assuming so that's interesting um, I guess what we'll do is find... Oh, and it shows us a popularity. That's kind of neat. What we'll do is... When this stuff sells... I, I, I see that 250 coin thingy in there. 3,000 coin thingy in there. And I don't know why those show. Oh, so one is probably the cheapest stuff we can sell and yeah and it goes up in our notebook to the most expensive stuff we can sell probably stuff that we've discovered I don't know <coughs> anyway um, right bumper oh that's yeah because this is the golem area um, so now now I changed it so the cheapest is at the top and there's the forest So the merchant, I think this is stuff we can craft or find. I don't know. I'm not too sure. Then over here is the golem thingy. Then the forest, which will have better stuff. And the desert, which will have better stuff. And the tech, which will have better stuff. And these are all things I'm going to be able to sell. Keep track of their value and all that good stuff. So, very cool. A neat little indie game that I'm absolutely looking forward to playing. Um, I really hope you guys are looking forward to, uh, you know... Uh, to, to watching the game and playing the game. Um, okay, she came in and she probably doesn't see anything she's excited about. He seemed interested in the crystal. Oh, he seems still a bit upset about the 120 price. Oh, she seems... Oh, she seems... Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. She seems super happy about the 20 so, I'm going to go 30. I could probably go higher, but I'm still kind of curious. 
Okay. Let's do that. Oh, let me go buy it. Oh, and he was willing to buy it at 30, but it wasn't too happy about it. 50? That is too high. Yeah, she's, she's very upset with the 50. Okay. So I could potentially sell this for 30. And they won't... They won't be too happy about it. Let's give them a little little discount. Little discount. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. Let's just give them a little discount. All right. Um, and let's put this down to one ten. Okay. Let's leave it at that. A little bit of discounts going around. Seeing if people are are excited about it. Oh, he seems happy with the crystal price at one ten. Cool. Not uh, over the moon ecstatic about it, but. Oh, and she. Okay. Hey, how about 25? Just because the other guy bought it doesn't necessarily mean that everyone will buy it at 30. Cut a little bit of a discount, see if someone is interested at 25. No. I could put other things here now. Oh, I don't have anything in my inventory. Um. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. Let me do this. I'll sell you two of them. Go, 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 a little bit of a discount. I'll sell you two of them. Oh, wait. Two at. So, 25 total. I'll give you a discount. If you buy two of them. I gave you four forty-six. No, that forty-six is a bargain. I'm telling you. I'm telling you, you want it. I know you want it. Okay. Oh, they're all headed out. Okay. All right. Um, probably. Oh, there's still people coming in. I don't know if I manually have to shut down the shop or... Oh yeah, hold the closed shop. Yeah, they don't seem too crazy about it. That could be because I've sold a few and people are catching wind that, you know... See, 20, super happy about. Um, not too crazy at 30 and very upset when I sold it at 40. The popularity is now low. That's probably why. So, what I'll do is I'm going to turn both of these down to 20. And if they want to buy it now, let's just let it... Okay. Okay, they're going to do it. Let me real quick put some more out there then. I'll take all of them. Um, I'll cash these guys out. Sell. Sell. Okay. And real quick, we'll come over here. We'll do another one. We'll do another one. And then we'll do three and two. What we'll do is this will be 20. This will be 20. These two. Yeah, we'll leave those. Yeah, we'll just leave that like that. I don't know if this guy wants iron rods whatsoever. Oh, I think the shop is done. Okay, the shop is done. We sold lots of iron bars for 110 total. Crystallized energy for 110, so we made some good money. Um, popularity. All right. So, the shop is closed, apparently. I'm pretty sure that's how this is, this is going down. Um, I'm going to... I'm going to pull this out, and I'm going to take this out. So what I'm going to do, actually, is this will be the end of this episode. It was oh, this, I'm, I'm having such a good time with this game. Um, I'm going to run the dungeon again, see if we can find some more loot, some more good stuff. And is there is there a save or does this auto save every night? I think it auto saves every night. But I'm gonna run another dungeon. 
I'm gonna try and get a bunch of items and uh, keep going. We made 220 gold on our first night, pretty awesome. Um, a dungeon was pretty fun, pretty cool. So yeah, that's gonna be it for me, guys. Thank you very, very much for watching this episode. If you did like it, please be sure to you know show me in some way in the comments or by a like button. Um, that gives me a good idea if you guys want to continue to see this game. Uh, any any game you want to see on the channel too? Pretty cool. Pretty appreciated. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I really, really do. If you made it this far, I'm sure you did. So thank you, thank you, thank you. And I'll see you in the next episode. Blah!